Hello everybody, this is TechCut from TechCut.us and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over the Spout plugin and Spout Craft. Now first of all we have Spout plugin. Now there's not very much features this directly gives to you. Basically this plugin is an API that allows other plugins to run and it does mask some of the things that Bucket, well some of the Java code that Bucket is running, allowing it to change some things in the Spoutcraft client such as an improved GUI, custom GUIs, custom items, and things like that. So reading directly from the wiki, Spout plugin is a is a good old plugin for the Craft Bucket server. It uses a Java trick called reflection to modify certain parts of the Craft Bucket to allow a lot of new features, most of the features require Spoutcraft. This right here it is a custom Minecraft client, which I'll be going over in just a sec. Spoutcraft client to run. It also features an API which expands Bucket's API to allow plugin developers to have features that aren't normally in Bucket's standard API. So, to be simple, it extends the possibilities for other plugins. It directly doesn't do that much itself except for it has some teleport smoothing, it controls, well it gives you control of visual cheats by the admin, it gives you the ability to control anyone that can join, um, it does chunk caching and automatic updates to new builds. And there are a lot more things it does with the client such as custom GUIs, custom gameplays, blocks, whole bunch of visuals, custom weather, custom audio, just basically custom anything you want or anything you can think about developing. So I'm going to get into installing that real quick. You're just going to want to open up your server folder, go into plugins and drag and drop the spout plugin right in here. You can download it from git.spout.org. Just download the spout plugin and then you're going to want to run your server and that should create a folder in here called spout and when that is done you can stop your server close it out, go into spout, you can edit the config as you please, there's not that much stuff you can change. You can force a client kick message, so that will make it so it will require people to use the spoutcraft client if you want that, you can set a custom message for that. You can add version checks, waypoints, and some other things. And then you have just cache and item maps. So that is about that. Now we have Spoutcraft. Now this is a custom Minecraft client that adds a lot more features to the game and it is what the Spout plugin API is built with. So the, this client is how you view the custom items that you can add and custom GUI and terrain and other things like that. So right away you notice a different login screen. Now before I start, this isn't going to be a full spout craft tutorial or video, I'm just going to be going over some of the basic features. So you can log in like you would on the actual Minecraft client, and right away you notice a ton of things. You can go add-ons, texture packs, multiplayer, you can see you can save uh, servers easier, you, can, you have a lot more options, you can do favorites. Pretty sure there's a little thing. Um, mini performance improvements, HD textures, skins, and cape support, custom audio and music from servers, public server list and game, mini map, and mods with waypoints, and much, much more. You can click that. I'll have a link to both the Spout plugin and Spoutcraft wiki pages in the description. So there's also the server list, which it talked about. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Land servers, refresh server list right there. You can connect to servers and let's just say I want to connect to this one right here. Now this is just a random server that I'm connecting to. I'm not exactly sure what features this server will provide me. So as you can see the chat is a little bit different. If I go to options it is you can set up an advanced menu and go through all the things like that. You can uncheck that to do it regular. You can have mini maps. Um, as you can see, this server has a custom welcome guide, welcome new guest, and they're giving you information. You just close that. There's guns in the server. So that is just some of the features you can have. Now that was just a brief overview of both Spout Plugin and Spout Craft. Once again, you can get both of those 
at git.spout.org. I'll have a link in the description to this page and the wiki for both of these, as well as some other um, links and helpful information. So I hope this has explained some things, helped you in some sort of way, uh, helped you better understand Spout and Spoutcraft. If I completely failed at helping you whatsoever, check out those wiki pages. Hope you have a great day, and goodbye.